Every now and then, a game comes around with gameplay mechanics so unique and engaging that it spawns an entire subgenre of gaming full of titles emulating that experience with degrees of variation. 2011's Dark Souls birthed the Souls-like subgenre. Known for punishing difficulty, stamina-based combat, and Metroidvania-style non-linear exploration. Although Nintendo Switch players can't play the entire Dark Souls trilogy and its open-world successor Elden Ring on their devices, they do have access to a vast library of immersive difficult games that are heavily inspired by From Software's Souls formula. It's hard to believe that such hardcore experiences can be enjoyed on a Nintendo console, especially since these platforms were praised for promoting ingenuity and accessibility over everything else. Hello again friends and welcome back to Game Rant. I'm Casey and these are the 10 best Souls-like games on the Nintendo Switch. Up first, we've got Decay of Logos. Following its release on Switch and most other platforms for that matter, Decay of Logos deservingly faced a lot of negative coverage and reviews. Simply put, the game was a buggy mess in its early days. Thankfully, in over three years since it came out, the title was patched up a fair bit and is now in a playable state. Though it still faces a few issues, such as poor enemy variety and occasional frame rate drops, at its best, Decay of Logos is a satisfying, simplified take on the Souls-like genre. The combat is smooth and difficult, and the open world boasts quite a lot of of memorable, well-designed locations. Up next, we've got Salt and Sanctuary. This indie game with a beautiful art style that resembles platformers like Limbo and Inside repackages Dark Souls formula in a 2D format and does so masterfully. The gloomy apocalyptic setting emulates the feeling of the Kingdom of Drang Lake, and Salt and Sanctuary's fluid stamina-based combat is equally challenging and unforgiving. Despite its rather simple graphics and easy-to-grasp mechanics, Salt and Sanctuary is actually a pretty complex game. There's in-depth RPG mechanics, about 600 usable items, and a number of different weapon types, each complete with special movesets, all of which allow players to shape their playstyles according to their preferences. Up next, we've got Kronos Before the Ashes. Initially released as a VR-only experience, Kronos Before the Ashes doesn't try to hide the fact that it was inspired by From Software's award-winning formula. From the dark atmosphere and convoluted dungeons all the way to a dodge-heavy combat system, this is a Souls-like through and through. Kronos is not the most graphically advanced game, and it shows even on a console with limited hardware capabilities like the Nintendo Switch. What sets it apart from other Souls-like titles is its inventive aging mechanic. With each defeat, the protagonist ages by one year, which affects their stats in different ways. For example, magic abilities are improved with time, whereas physical skills might deteriorate when the character turns a certain age. Up next, we've got Eldest Souls. The fact that this game literally has the word Souls in its name is a pretty clear giveaway of what other titles it was inspired by. While Eldest Souls doesn't hide its admiration for the Dark Souls trilogy, it does more than enough to set itself apart from other Souls-like and even manages to conjure its own unique personality. Played from the isometric perspective, Eldest Souls has the same painfully hard ebb and flow combat known from Dark Souls, but its art direction and pacing couldn't be more different. There are no mobs in this game, and players progress by going from one boss battle to another as they traverse through gorgeous pixel art environments. Up next, we've got Hellpoint. Hellpoint is nearly identical to Dark Souls in its core gameplay mechanics and exploration. It checks all the boxes of a Souls-like to the T. However, calling it a carbon copy wouldn't be accurate. Hellpoint stands on its own thanks to a futuristic setting and a story that's a little easier to follow than what From Software fans are used to. It's one of the more graphically advanced games on this list, and so the graphics in the Switch port of Hellpoint have been downscaled by quite a bit. Although there are some minor performance issues at times, it's still a worthy experience for gamers who can't get enough of the Dark Souls formula. Up next, we've got Death's Door. Similarly to Eldest Souls, Death's Door is played from an isometric perspective. In it, players take control of a crow, who works as one of the countless reapers in a world where the business of transporting souls to the other side has become heavily governed. The game features snappy, stamina-based combat with simple yet satisfying attacks, is relatively difficult, although not quite Dark Souls levels of difficult, and contains a lot of Zelda-inspired puzzles and exploration. All in all, Death's Door is a short and fun title that performs like a charm on the Switch. Up next, we've got Mortal Shell. 
Cold Symmetry's mortal shell hits the sweet spot between drawing as much inspiration from Dark Souls as possible, all while keeping things fresh enough to keep players wanting to uncover what it has to offer. Granted, a lot of the similarities to Firm Software's iconic series are a bit too on the nose, especially when it comes to user interface and item descriptions that reveal important backstory elements. There is a mechanic in Mortal Shell, however, that flips the formula on its head. In the game, players start out by controlling a humanoid creature that is extremely vulnerable to all sorts of damage. The story takes them across the game's world to find four corpses of fallen warriors, which can be worn by the protagonist. Each one increases his resistance and grants a unique set of skills and abilities, essentially allowing players to switch between radically different builds on the fly. Up next, we've got Ashen. Featuring simple but stylish graphics and solid voice acting, Ashen is one of the very best Souls-likes available on Nintendo Switch. Its combat mechanics and progression system is nearly identical to that of Dark Souls, but the game has more than a few things going for it that make it stand on its own. One of the most original aspects of Ashen is the game's co-op system, which allows players to randomly run into each other in the game and complete quests together. There's also a hub area in Ashen which players can turn from a run-down settlement into a vibrant village over time. Up next, we've got Hollow Knight. Together with its four expansions, Hollow Knight packs over 100 hours of gameplay, which is an impressive feat considering the game's cartoonish graphics and a 2D platformer vibe. This game has surprisingly deep lore and more importantly, silky smooth gameplay that is both difficult and addictive. Hollow Knight is as much a Souls-like game as it is a Metroidvania. The game has countless paths to follow, side areas to explore, a wide variety of enemies to battle, and a pretty deep charm system that unlocks special abilities and provides players with a variety of ways to take on enemies. And our final game on this list, Dark Souls. No list of the best Souls likes would be complete without the one game that started this entire craze. Dark Souls, the remastered version of From Software's legendary game that continues to influence countless studios all around the world landed on the Switch in 2018, and it's as much of a joy to play in handheld mode as it is on the big screen. Seeing as it's a port of a 2011 title, Dark Souls Remastered runs very well on Nintendo Switch. With no significant performance issues throughout the entire game, it receives some much-needed graphical improvements, but in all honesty, they're only really visible in docked mode. Other than that, it's it's the classic Souls experience, and its success makes it all the more disappointing that the remaining two Dark Souls titles are nowhere to be seen on the Switch. And there you have it folks, the 10 best Souls-like games on the Nintendo Switch. Let us know in the comments which one of these Souls-like games are your favorite to play. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and as always, be sure to visit GameRant.com for more top-notch gaming content. I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care for now.